dude, like... I'm telling you, you get really good with... I'm, I'm not even looking at my screen. I'm just insta-killing these guys. Yo, yo, yo. What is going on, YouTube, baby? What is going on, guys? We are back with a brand new video. Today, we're going to be using the KSB and demonstrating its true dominance. This gun is absolutely absurd. And there's a reason why pro players want this gun banned. And in a way, have basically GA'd it, banned it already. But it's, it hasn't been really official. But nobody used this gun. This gun is obviously like a fluky, weird, like crazy up close gun. It can kill so fast sometimes with those little nice little bursts you can see. Let me see if I could uh, slide here out in a second. Slide out now. Look at that. Time to kill can be quite absurd as you can see from the gameplay from me demonstrating it. The bursts are just absurd. Oh, thank you for helping me, sir. Look at that. Super burst him back. Burst him. He's dead. Two burst him. And this gun did, dude, this gun is just absurd. Like, you're just watching it live right now. Like, come on. Now, there were a couple days where pros were actually using this gun and kind of having fun with it and trying it out. And I've realized that it's pretty stupid. Like, you just saw how I killed that guy off the heady. Like, it really felt like he stood no chance. And that's how this gun kind of feels sometimes. Like, you literally, if you, if you hit your shots and burst people... Like, you just insta-kill people. Like, there's... It's just... It sounds... It's just broken. It feels broken. Look at this. Like, it just feels like they stand no chance. Feels like they stand no chance. Oh, you're gonna steal my kill, eh? You're gonna steal my kill? The only thing is where it's weak spot and it's weak point is... It's definitely, like, those longer-range gunfights. But an SMG is meant for, like, more closer, right? And, like... It's just, it's just so broken up close, man. So, to elaborate a little bit about this gun. So, pros were using it for a couple days. And basically, what happened is we realized that it's kind of stupid. And it's kind of broken. And I don't think there's ever been, like, have been, like, an official GA yet where pros are like, yeah, let's not use it. I think it's more so, like, a mutual feeling. Like, it's kind of stupid. And it's just not a, not a really competitive or fun gun. Therefore, we don't use it. Almost kill that guy. Almost bursted that guy straight off the heady. Trying to fuel the mic. We're going in, boys. He mollied me. He mollied me. We're going in, boys. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. When the KSV was being used and it was sort of allowed, and I was fighting people, even medium range gunfights. Not even, I'm not only talking about close up, like even medium range gunfights. Where I was fighting people who were just coming around a corner and insta-killing me, essentially. I feel like, it feels like you're getting sniped sometimes. Like, you just get bursted down like that. Like, it's just, it doesn't feel competitive. Like, there's no... It's just stupid, like, how fast it can kill sometimes. And what are you going to do about it? Like, bursted. He's dead. He almost bursted him in one burst. Like, this gun, its potential is absurd. And it's like, if you get really good with, like, kind of learning to recoil a bit, and, like, I'm beaming these guys. Like, with a KSV, like, I'm beaming those guys. If you get used to, like, the recoil pattern and, like, kind of how the gun shoots and all these things, like, you're, like, if you, until you use this gun every day, like, you're not at its full potential with this gun. And this gun is already dumb with you shooting pretty straight. Imagine if you could shoot it, hit, like, burst, like, consistently really good. Bam, easy kills. Now, obviously, you guys know they buffed the damage barrel. Or not the damage barrel. They just buffed the damage range in general. They gave it a couple extra meters. So, the gun itself was already pretty good. Look, I just bursted that guy. One burst. The gun itself was already pretty damn good. Come on, I'm going to beam the sniper just to show you how good this gun can be. And I'm going to freaking world star that guy. And I he came back for me. Damn it. All right, so we're back with some Miami Hardpoint now. I am from Miami, so I got to show it some love. But I'll be honest, I do not like this map whatsoever, man. Whatso freaking ever. But it's all good. Basically, what I was trying to say was that now that the barrel... In now that the damage range has been increased on the KSP, it makes it even better, right? Like, without a doubt, like, it makes the gun actually way more consistent. And from range, you could actually beam people. Got, like, six guys looking at me right now. You hate that. Hello, I'm Batman. I jump down and kill all. What? Wait, what? Look at bitch. Wait, what? No, I stopped shooting. 
Oh my god, it's the freest kill ever. Now, I feel like there's a couple of questions that you guys are going to ask me. One, why is Sting being GA'd or why is the pay silly banned when maybe you don't think it's that broken? I mean, the problem is, it's like I said, it's basically a shotgun up close, right? So like, you know, in the pro scene, we don't play with shotguns and this is essentially basically a shotgun. So it pretty much means if you ever get set up or pushed up somewhere close, like the other team is screwed. Like it's good. He, like that guy is guaranteed almost a kill every single time because of how good this gun is, especially up close. And then it, even then, like it still can like get pretty good medium long range. Like this gun has a lot of potential. Sorry, those one bursts are just deadly. We just got broken instantly. Lordy, get a trade or something. Oh my God. Ah, wow. I didn't make it go there. What the heck? So a lot of the times us pros, we GA things or get rid of things for good reasons. And now I know some of some, some, some stuff, some little stuff might be a little bit questionable. I won't argue that. Okay. Guys, trying to run there with his knife. Because it's true. Like, sometimes some of the stuff are a little bit questionable. At the end of the day, we want to make the game better. We want to make the game most competitive, the most consistent. And I will agree. There are there has been a couple questionable things that are like, why why did we GA that? Why do we ban that? Like, was it really that broken? And most of the time, we do it. Like, most of the time, it's been a good reason. Like, I think... I think nine out of ten times it's for a good reason but there's always that once in a while random reasons like you know what that was kind of stupid like why did we do that and it's just like we're trying our best to you know make like i said make the game the most fair and competitive and you're gonna make mistakes you know you can't like have everything perfect but this gun dude like i'm telling you you get really good with I'm, I'm not even looking at my screen. I'm just insta-killing these guys. Like, you get really freaking good with this gun. And, like, it's just... So, some of the kills you get is just stupid. Like, they don't stand a chance. It's like using a mini M16. Like... Like, I'm just getting warmed up. This is, like, my third or fourth game on with this gun. Like, third game on. Like, if I, like, use this gun for days, like, I'd get nasty with it. One burst. Two bursts, but two bursts. Come on, Johnny Rap. Come on, Lavar. Come on, baby. You know I do it all, baby. You know I do it all. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, Molly me. Damn, get me out. It's still killing you all. Still killing you. Still killing you. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm cracked. All right, guys. Now time for the KSP class setup. So you. Like, you don't need gunfighter on the KSP. You don't really need gunfighter in SMGs. You can stack them to make them a little bit more broken, but they're not really needed. So we are running perk read here. But let's go to the actual attachments and the class. So for the muzzle, we're running straight up muzzle break. I know this is kind of interesting. You can try running infantry or SOCOM, but you want a little bit more vertical recoil control. But like horizontal is harder to control than vertical. So usually you want your horizontal min like minimized as much. So I use muzzle break, so I have no cons to the horizontal. We're running reinforced heavy. Like I said, the damage range already got increased, but this just adds more damage range to it. Plus it gives the bullet velocity, which subs do kind of need bullet velocity, especially any sub other than 74 u because they all have such a base low bullet velocity. So we got the reinforced. We're going to be running the speed grip. Now I feel like movement speed feels really nice, especially if you're going to be running the reinforced, it takes away movement speed. So you need to boost movement speed. So you're not a turtle. So that's why I run speed grip, speed grip. Obviously you can run field agent grip for grip, but you want to have even less recoil. And you can make it like a mini AR, but speed grip. We got the airborne elastic wrap, just one of the best attachments in the game. And then we got the Raider stock. Bang, bada, bing, bada, boom. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's little video with the KSB. Basically, why pros are kind of banning it and how good it is and how dominant it can be. You guys saw the gameplay. You saw the proof, like some of the crazy kills I'd get up close. Like it is freaking absurd. Such a dominant gun. Very cheesy at times. Like it is what it is. It's like, it's like a cool gun, but just shouldn't be in the meta. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. But, you know, before you leave, like, hit that like button, and uh, check out my other videos, too, until my next one. Okay, love you. Bye. <laughs>